Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to install Sonic Ether's incredible shader mod to Minecraft now. The first step is to start with a fresh install of Minecraft. If you've got any worlds or anything you need to back up in the saves folder, then please copy and paste them somewhere else. But otherwise, we're going to delete everything out of this folder. That's the Minecraft folder, so to get to this folder, you need to press uh, percentage, app data, percentage, and then just press enter, and then the Minecraft folder will be here, but I've got a link on my desktop. So once you've deleted everything out of that folder, just get rid of it from the recycle bin, open up Minecraft as you normally would, and then we want to click on, uh, well, after we log in, we want to uh, click on our profile at the bottom left, which I'll show you how to do in just a second after we've logged in. Click edit profile, click reuse, release 1.7.2 and save profile and then click play and then it will automatically start downloading Minecraft again for you and installing it. Uh, the reason we're using 1.7.2 is because that is what uh, Forge, which is, a, uh, which is a mod that's required to make the shaders work and also the shaders, they only work in 1.7.2 currently, they're not updated to 1.7.4 or any other later version. So it's nice and easy, that will install 1.7.2 now, we don't need to do anything manually, it's all automatic which is fantastic. Um, while we're waiting for that to happen we can open up uh, Google and Google Forge 1.7.2 and it'll take you to this web page. I'll also put this web page in the description of the video below and then we scroll down and then we click on this link here which is for the version of Minecraft we currently have and it'll install this, uh, well not install, it'll download this to uh, your downloads folder or your desktop or whatever. So we can close Minecraft now and then we can install this. So we do it, all, all we do to install this is double click on it or right click and open with and Java if it doesn't automatically open and then just click OK, check that that's uh, where your Minecraft folder is installed which it should be, and click OK this will automatically start downloading fantastic so that's installed and then we'll click OK and then we need to run Minecraft one more time to make sure that Forge is successfully installed. And you can check that by going down to the profiles down here and seeing if Forge is there, which it is, which is fantastic. You'll need to log in again because it's a new uh, profile, but that's absolutely fine. There we are. And then just click play, and Minecraft will open again, but with Forge installed. And you'll see a couple of differences to know if Forge is completely working or not. So we'll wait for Minecraft to load up. Okay, and then you, see, you should see that there's a mods a mods icon on the home screen now, which is, uh, and there'll be obviously loads of text around and everything. Um, so that's fantastic. We've got uh, the, these, this, the mod, uh, the mod installer and the mod loader ready, which is Forge, which is fantastic. So what we need to do next is open up our Minecraft folder again, go to mods, and drag and drop this shaders mod core, which you can find on uh, on this website here, which I'll also put a link in the description. See, so it's the shaders mod, and then you just click on this one for the latest version of Minecraft to download which is for our Minecraft version. So then what you do is you drag and drop this in, move that in there, and then we'll uh, load up Minecraft one more time to make sure that that is, uh, you need to just keep double checking. You have to do these steps, it's not something you can really skip because it's making sure that everything's installed properly. So obviously that'll, uh, that'll give us a uh, hassle-free experience, hopefully. So again, we'll wait for Minecraft to load up nice and slow and using fraps to install it and to record it rather and you should see that uh, everything should load up fine basically nothing will appear here but it should load up fine nothing will, nothing will be damaged um, so if we go into Minecraft now you can see that there's a shader packs this Minecraft dot Minecraft thing there's a shader packs uh, folder that wasn't there before all we have to do now is download the actual shader pack we want to use which is of course Sonic Ether's incredible shaders mod or unbelievable shaders mod um, and what we do is we go down to the downloads click download and it'll uh, it'll download the latest version for you and the version that we want is preview 1 of 10.10.1 basically which is the top version so we'll drag and drop that in as a uh, as a compressed file and then open up Minecraft again click play and then we just need to activate this shader and as I said in my review of course you'll uh, you'll have a bit of a frame right here with shaders but it does look fantastic do check out the review if you haven't just go to back to the beginning of the video and you can watch that so to get the shader working now we have to create a world obviously start the world up and let Minecraft build it for us so here we are in our new world 
No shaders, as you can see, which is very, very frustrating indeed. So what we'll do is we'll go into Options, Shaders, which is a new thing that appears, and then click on this, and we need to turn Cloud Shadow onto False, and Text Min to Nearest Nearest, and New Block Breaking to True. So it's Cloud Shadow False, Block Breaking True, Text Min Nearest Nearest. Click Done, Done, Options, actually we need to go to Options, sorry, and turn off the clouds. Back to game. And wow, look at this. It's installed, it looks fantastic. But you're thinking, where are the clouds? There are no clouds. Glad you asked. Let's quit Minecraft and we need to do one more thing to get the clouds installed. We need to install something called Notepad++. If you just Google Notepad++, I'll put a link in the description below as well. Uh, and then install Notepad++ and we need to edit one of the lines of code in this, which sounds complicated but it really isn't. All we have to do is open up with WinRAR, open up this uh, this this zip file, go into shaders and copy the first file, or drag and drop it out, and drag and drop the composite.fsh, that is, drag and drop that onto your desktop, go into edit with notepad, and then you need to scroll down to line 1634 which is just here, I've got it open already. So you scroll down to 1634, and then you need to delete these two uh, slashes, I believe they are, aren't they? Click, just delete, and then you need to save that. That's all you need to do, delete 1634, delete those two slashes. Click save, quit, and then drag and drop this back in, and it'll give you a little warning, and just save over that, basically. So let's check that that's working. So we'll click on play again, which is our Forge Minecraft. Wait for Minecraft to load up again. So it's not really that complicated, as I said. It's just it's just a lot of a uh, lot of opening up Minecraft and closing Minecraft, really. Okay, so we're going to single player, play selected world. Wait for the terrain to build again, and we'll look up at the sky, and the beautiful clouds are there. Ah, yeah. And then you know you've made it when you've got these fantastic clouds in. They just make the world look so much better. So yeah, that, that you can do that, and it won't it won't harm your gameplay at all. It'll just it'll just make it look a hell of a lot nicer. I mean, look at these, how fantastic are these? So that's the clouds done. As a final little uh, titbit, uh, I'll also put the link for uh, for Chroma Hills in the description as well because these are uh, these are resource packs that are uh, that are highly recommended for this uh, for this uh, mod pack. So all you have to do is download those as zip files, move them to the resource pack uh, folder. Click done and open up the resource pack folder, and then you can uh, you can activate one of these resource packs like that, as well as the default look. And you'll see shortly that the textures will have all changed. It'll look uh, nice and HD and uh, a little bit cartoony, but also very uh, very RPG. Look at this. So it's literally as simple as that. Just drag and drop it in. We'll go down. I'll show you uh, show what it looks like. Just show you it's installed. There we are. It looks it just it does look very nice actually with this shader pack. It's good, and this is the one that the developer officially recommends you use with this shader pack. So I'll put that link in the description below. And then as a final, uh, final little uh, little uh, little bit to uh, help help Minecraft run as smoothly as possible, you might want to download Optifine as well. So to do that, I'll put the link in the description below. Again, you want 1.7.2 underscore HD underscore C2 which is the best one to use, and then all you have to do is, when that's downloaded, drag and drop that into the mods folder. Simple as that, and it'll be uh, it'll be working. So, uh, thank you very, very much for uh, watching this, uh, this uh, mod installation video for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders mod. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, please subscribe, uh, and check out the mod review if you haven't already. Uh, but it's very good, so I hope that you don't have too many problems. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. But I hope that helped you a lot, and uh, look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.